Welcome back. President-elect Donald Trump looking to hit the ground running on Capitol Hill with the GOP also in control of both houses of Congress. GOP leaders say that they are eager to work with Mr. Trump, despite many of his positions and proposals falling outside the traditional Republican philosophy. Joining me right now, Republican Congressman from Utah, Jason Chaffetz. He is the chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, and it is good to have you on the program, sir. Thanks so much for joining good us. Good morning. Good morning. So let's talk about what you think you can get done. First off, congratulations. Now the Republicans in control. Control, a sweep here. We've heard a lot about President elect Trump's tax plan. Is this something you think you can achieve in 2017? And what else do you think will happen in 17? Yeah, we better. Uh, tax reform, uh, the oppressive Obamacare has to be dealt with uh, immediately. Uh, there are trade issues. There are certainly issues uh, on the border. Uh, President Trump's uh, uh, agenda is full and so is the House of Representatives because there's also a lot of uh, uh, regulations that need to be rolled back and there's a lot of executive orders that that President Trump is going to have to deal with in the first few days that he's in office but uh, you know with the, the Republicans having the House and Senate and the presidency I think that we were we're more optimistic than ever. Are you saying that you would vote yes to the 15 percent corporate tax rate and the lowering of taxes that Donald Trump has proposed? Yes, and I think it will be even more complex and we'll deal with other issues as well. But uh, lowering the corporate income tax, the highest corporate income tax in the world, uh, dealing with the repatriation of uh, literally billions of dollars that's parked overseas will do wonders for our economy. And I, I, I know that uh, President-elect uh, Trump understands this. All right. Well, he's, he's talking about doubling the growth rate. We're at about 2% economic growth right now. Yeah. He thinks he could take it to 4% in a short period of time. You agree with that? Yeah, I, that should be the laudable goal that we can get to. And, and mm. there are some very uh, systemic things that we can do. Corporate income tax rate uh, and the repatriation is, is literally, I, I would love to know the analysis of how many billions of dollars are parked overseas that would come back and be injected into this economy. Yeah, Congressman, let me ask you about some of the things that perhaps the two, the two do not agree on. And we know that con congressional Republicans have generally been very pro-free trade. Uh, you, you've been the driving force behind trying to get President Obama's Trans-Pacific Partnership passed, for one thing. Uh, where are, is the agreement on free trade with Donald Trump? And then, of course, there's the issue of immigration and deportation, another issue on which the GOP base is largely with Trump, but there are GOP leaders and many Republicans in Congress that simply are not. Well, for me personally, I've been actually opposed to TPP. I do believe in free trade, and I think we're going to need to have one-on-one -on -one agreements between the United States and, say, New Zealand and the United States and, and individual countries. And I think that's where President-elect uh, Trump is coming from as well, that let's deal with these rather than turning over our sovereignty and our direction to some anonymous board that really nobody knows who it is, let's just deal with this one-on-one -on -one and deal with it in each country. I think that's the better, smarter way to go and something I'd be wholly supportive of. When is uh, a trillion dollars on a rebuilding program, this is his infrastructure plan, yeah. too much? Uh, people are worried that, in fact, he's actually going to be doubling Clinton's plan to spend $275 billion on infrastructure over five years. Is this too much spending? Well, it has to be done in context of all the others. We spend about $1,067 trillion in discretionary spending. We spend in the neighborhood of $600 billion on our, on our, uh, on our military, which does need refurbishing. And so we're going to have to find the right combination, but make some tough choices. Right. And we're going to have to take some from other places and, and put it into the infrastructure. The $787 billion that Obama put into the rebuilding of America, mm. uh, less than 5% of that went to roads, bridges, and infrastructure. So it was really, he grew government, the President Obama right. did, as opposed to invest in the infrastructure, which we do need to do. Congressman, uh, let me switch gears, ask you about the Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. investigation. Where does that stand yeah. right now? Are you expecting President Obama to give her a pardon? And, and what, what will you be doing in terms of continuing the investigation into the pay-for-play investigation at the Clinton Foundation? Well, it's really up to President Obama as to whether or not he wants to pardon Hillary Clinton, but it's bigger and broader than Hillary Clinton. Remember, this is the largest breach of security, perhaps, in the history of the State Department. There are dozens of people in that inner circle that we are most interested in looking at. Um, we had perjury issues that, that we still want the Department of Justice uh, to look at. You have allegations of a quid pro quo. We don't know where they're at in terms of their investigation into the Clinton Foundation. And the, the, the FBI 
FBI director, we still have some questions because his latest letter narrowed the scope of their investigation to the time that she was Secretary of State. But we're also interested in what happened before and what happened after that. It's this huge, massive mess that has to be cleaned up. So we would be remiss if we just dismissed it and moved on. We have a lot of things that we have to fix so it never, ever happens again. So you're saying that investigation continues? Oh, absolutely. I'd be derelict in my duty if I just, just let it go and said, well, there's an election. Yeah. Uh, but there's still people that work at the State Department that were key to this problem. You look at the Undersecretary sure. for Management, Patrick Kennedy. There are lots of these people right. that we are still in the infrastructure. Congressman, good to have you on the program this morning. Thank you. We will see you soon, sir. Thanks, we'll Rick. be watching.